The main issue with this fruit fly is that rather than infecting damaged or sort of rotting fruit like most fruit flies do, it actually infests ripe, ready to eat fruit. And that makes it a big problem for farmers who of course want to sell their, their fruit on the market. Drosophila suzukii, or spotted wing drosophila, is this small, innocuous looking little fruit fly. It is also very difficult to control with your synthetic conventional pesticide sprays because it completes most of its life cycle enclosed within the ripening fruit. Um, and that leaves only the flying adults available to target. Um, and those adults don't need much time at all to uh, complete their life cycle and lay the next generation within uh, a new crop of fruit. And one such strategy is, is something that we're working on. We are actually manipulating the behavior of the insect by disguising healthy, ripe fruit as being infected with this very damaging pathogen. It's also very unappealing to the flies as well. By studying the scent or the odors that are emitted by infected fruit, we were able to pick out a few particular chemicals that when applied to healthy fruit actually repel these flies from visiting the fruit and ovipositing or laying their eggs inside of the fruit. So in this way, to protect our fruit from being infested without having you use the fungus itself and um, without having to rely solely on synthetic chemicals. So this technology, what we would do is place it inside of a slow release container, um, but it's never gonna come in contact with the fruit. And these chemicals themselves are fruity odors. So they are actually quite pleasant to be around, um, which might be surprising when you think of rotten fruit and really should be limited impact to any consumer. And for the farmers, it's nice to, to work in a field that smells pleasant. Our next phase for testing these odors will be doing some small scale field tests in blueberry fields out in New Jersey. Those will be done by my colleagues out at Rutgers University. And after that, if, if we have promising results, we hope to begin working with collaborator in industry to get this to market and in the hands of farmers.